I'm getting conflicting information here. I still got grip here. Welcome back everyone to some more F122 driver career mode. We are heading into Miami today. It's been a while since we've been here, uh, mainly because I don't like the circuit and I don't think many people like it either. But we did score P1 in Imola, which is great. I scored a lot of points as well. Now we are quite some ways away from Lando Norris, but it's only a 24 point gap, which is catchable at the Miami Grand Prix as long as Lando Norris fails to finish. But Without further ado, let's just jump into it then. There's nothing I can really touch on. The team has all their upgrades in and there's nothing really that I can do except for a marketing department event apparently. Okay, we got cash. No biggie, but yeah, let's head on in, see how well we perform here in Miami. Let's see if I still have the skills to pay the bills. Here we are then, time for the qualifying session of the Miami Grand Prix. This track I'm a little uncertain about, not the greatest around here, so we'll give it our best. I think we can put this car in a competitive position. I think a lot of the car's performance is going to help us out here. So without further ado, let's head on on track and see where we put this car from our initial laps. Made plenty of mistakes, but we're only 60 thousandths away from Norris. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a stonking lap from me. That is beautiful. Only 60 thousandths away. By the end of it, P5. Not bad from us. Piaschi down in P13. Makes it through to Q2. Stroll, Latifi, Ticta, Magnuson, and Russell are out. Moving on to Q2. Alright then, first lap. So P5, alright, not too shabby. Not too shabby, Alonso. There we have it, made it through to the next round in P9. Oscar Piastri P10 also makes it through to the final round. Sean Leclerc taking a great position penalty here, five positions added to his uh, finishing there. Okay, interesting. Albon is out with no time. Schwarzman, Sonoda, Joe, and Drugovic also out. Let's take a look at the race director incidents. Collision with Albon. Okay, Albon crashed out by colliding with Charles Leclerc. That's the five position grid penalty for Charles Leclerc. But yeah, time to go into Q3. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. We put our car in P3 with fresh tires. And now we're on another set of fresh tires. We have one fresh set of softs left for the race in case there is a safety car or something. Great exit out of there. This is it then. Let's see where we put our car for the start of the Miami Grand Prix. That's a P1. Pole position. Let's go. Maybe I should visit Miami more. I hate the circuit, but look at this. I put the Alfa Romeo in P1. Pole position right ahead of Leclerc by 77 thousandths. And then Norris behind by 2.3, 2.4 tenths. So yeah, that is a brilliant starting position. Let's see what we can do from pole position here in Miami. Let's see if we can perform well in the last outing here in Miami. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Welcome to the Miami International Autodrome, home of the Miami Grand Prix. This exciting track circumnavigates the Hard Rock Stadium, home to the National Football League outfit, the Miami Dolphins. With great opportunities for wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles featuring 19 corners, 3.36 miles long, and expected average speeds of 138 miles an hour, the Miami International Autodrome will be sure to create lots of chances to overtake. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Maverick lines up on pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Fernando Alonso, Charles Leclerc. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Sainz, 
Drogovic and Guan Yu Zhou. Sonoda, Schwartzman, Max Verstappen. They've taken a grid penalty. And Russell. Magnussen, Ocon, Nicholas Latifi and Lance Stroll. Albon, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Daniel Tickton. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. There we go, some penalties up and down the grid, which is interesting to see. We're going to put the mediums on to start off, because that is going to give us the best flexibility, I think. We do have a fresh set of softs to put on, but also the mediums need to be on because the rain is expected. So when we start the soft stand, I'm expecting some rain to hit. Oh, I need to lower my fuel a little bit more, I think because we do have rain coming. So yeah, without further ado, let's start this race then. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. as the cars take their positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. Let's get it then. Let's get this race underway. Pole position start. Lights out. Good start. Fantastic start. Keep it calm and steady. Let's go. Need to heat up the car, I think, a little bit. Something feels something feels under temp. Something feels off about the car, it's sliding too much. Hmm. Not sure what it is, but we need to bring everything up to temperature a little bit. Hmm. Alright. I mean, I lose us uh, so much time in Sector 1, but I make up for in Sector 2 and Sector 3. How is that exceeding? How do you even exceed Trackmas there? I must be some kind of special. Oh, yellow flag. I think it's just slow cars at that rate. But there we go. I've taken two exceeding track limits already. Just not good. Not good at all. Pulling a gap on the cars behind a little bit. But let's keep it going because they can bring it back in a moment's time like that. Car is very slippery and twitchy. It's very weird. Unlike qualifying and practice. Why am I locking up there? Car feels somewhat different than qualifying and practice. That is what I'm recognizing now. Okay, let's punch it. Do you see Norris has brought it back? Norris has brought it back. Weather report. Radar suggests the weather's gonna hit in around five minutes time, so stay on your toes. Okay, dry seem like the best tire for now. Five minutes time, that's relatively close, so I gotta get going. Wonder if we'll get a dry stint at some point. Oh, didn't take that the greatest, but we can fix that in the next lap. Let's go, let's pull away. Try to pull away from DRS. There are two DRS zones. This one and then one by sector two. So we don't want to give away DRS in sector one. Okay, another fastest lap I think, but it might get stolen. Yep, Norris. We need to do it now. 
Come on, please tell me this is a good enough lap. Come on, come on. Come on, let's bring it up to the line. Fastest lap, let's go. We secured it. Time to recharge everything. And wait for the rain, of course. Rain, rain, rain. Oh, is that rain? Yeah, I think that's rain. First hint of rain. Okay, how far away do you think we are from wets? Or like intermediate tires, that is. I got Norris, Perez, and Alonso right on my tail. They're all in a group, and then we've got a gap to Gasly, who's leading the rest of the field, essentially. And we gotta cautious here. Track is getting a little wet. Okay, this rain is just gonna get harder and harder, so... We wanna be on our toes here. I don't want to give away position to Norris or any of the AI behind. I'm driving beautifully. Let's keep it up. Oh, I hear some collision behind me. Perez has overtaken Norris for P2. Interesting. They're squabbling. This is good. Let's pull away, please. I heard collisions behind. But Perez is still within DRS. DRS has not yet been disabled, so... I mean, it is getting quite slippery out here. I don't know why they haven't disabled it yet. Someone could get killed. As the famous Sir Alex Ferguson once said. Somebody could have been... He could have been killed. I think Perez still has DRS right now. Despite this rain getting harder and harder. Ay ay ay. You see I'm nowhere near my fastest lab attempt. So yeah, it's definitely too wet. Yeah, well good to know, but it's not yet Inter's condition, is it? Look at that, he has DRS. Slippery out here, man. It just won't get wet. Hold on, pause, that's what she said. Um cars are pitting. Drug conditions. They're probably going for hards. It is getting very weird here. I'm wondering if there'll be conditions for enters. But right now it's like semi slippery, but not as slippery as when dries are out in enters conditions. So, not sure if we'll ever hit that wet stint. Hmm. Weather report. We've been seeing at least 20 minutes of light rain. Drives definitely seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Oh, Albon's out. Why is that? Hmm. Did he slip maybe? Okay, Oscar Pitt for dry tires. I have a three second gap to Alonso, three second ish. I think he's pitting because he has some rapid pace. That usually means he's gonna pit this lap. I went super wide there. Grip is in existence right now. Might be a combination of the wet tires and then dead tires as well. Oh, DRS disabled. Hold on. Must be getting too wet out here. Means enters is up. About to be triggered. And the gap behind us is 19.8 seconds. Dry line is still kind of there. Might be one additional lap and then we'll have to pit for enters. Weather report. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Okay, dry seems like the best tire for now. Dry tires for now. Okay, we keep going then. I think around lap 19 it'll be get it'll be enters. 
Let's see. Weather report. Okay, so this light rain is going to be with us for a while now. Drives definitely seem like the fastest car at the moment. Seriously. Is the interest ever going to come? The RS has been disabled for a while now. I need to pit this lap. I would release P2 just behind Pettis. Weather report. Should I? I have no grip. I have to. I don't even know if it's going to get wet. It does feel like it's getting wet though. I don't know. We'll risk it. And I think we'll have the pace on the inters. We'll try to overtake Pettis as fast as we can. And then we'll get ready for inters. I'm preparing in case it doesn't get wet to inter conditions, you know? I'm preparing for that kind of scenario. There goes Pettis. He's just ahead. That's catchable. Oh! Pettis made a mistake there in the Tai Chicane. We capitalized and we made the move. Yes! We got more grip on these softs because in the semi kind of wet, damp conditions, the softs are much better than the harder compounds or mediums or hards. I'm really feeling it right now. But it's weird. Why is it not getting into its conditions? Oh, I say that and I just kind of spun out. Oh, people are in the pits. Hold on, Perez is in the pits. Is he going on enters? Okay, I think it might just be about time to come and change these tires. Really? Tire status? Right, we're no longer sure that these tires are the right ones. It might be time to come in and change. Why do I still have grip then? Weather report. Okay, so this light rain is going to be with us for a while now. Drys definitely seem like the fastest tire at the moment. I'm getting conflicting information here. Drys seem like the best tires, and then when I ask tire status, he's telling me it's not the optimal tire anymore. I mean, I still got grip here. But then again, I don't want to be Lando Norris, Russia. Cars are coming in for inters. It's touch and go, but could be worth a risk. We'll be ready for it if you want a box. Still have grip here. And, the gap behind us is nine and it's the last lap. I survived it on dry tires, but it's not over until the fat lady sinks, of course. Final lap. Final lap. Pet is behind on the inters is gaining. Inters are slightly faster than the drives, but persevering on the drives has helped me keep a nice, comfortable gap and keep it going here. Car's still fine for now. Yeah. Still have moderate amount of grip. I mean, I'm gonna lose a little bit of grip, obviously. My tires are absolutely shredded right now, 40%, 43, 44. Other than that, I don't feel anything different. So it, I don't know, is this a glitch? I'm not quite sure what the weather's saying. It was like, is it dry or is it wet? It was like, I don't know. Like, I ask Mark, and he says, okay, drives are the best tires. And then when I ask him about tire status, he says it's wet tires, enters. But look at this. I'm about to finish 6.7, 6.5 seconds-ish ahead of Pettis on the dry tires on wet conditions. Very wild. But I'll take that. What a victory and what a strategy call. Absolute domination from Alfa Romeo this weekend. There we have it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Great drive!
A truly magnificent win here at the Miami International Autodrome. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Alfa Romeo have been winning fans the world over with their brilliant driving, showing that they're a force to be reckoned with out there on the track. They'll certainly be building on that fan base after today's excellent result. Gotta say, I'm quite surprised with what I witnessed today. Is it wet or is it dry? I don't know. But we persevered on the dry tires and managed to get P1 with the fastest lap. 26 points in total, which is fantastic. Perez and Norris on the podium alongside us. 11 points uh, gained on top of Norris's score. So that means we are closing the gap at the top of the table. Alonso, Leclerc, Josh, Sainz, Schwartzman, Piastri, and Verstappen round out the top 10 points finishers. Gasly, Alcon, Drugovic, Tikta, Magnus, and Russell Stroll. The Tifi round out the finishers with Sonoda and Albon failing to finish today's race. Standings wise, let's take a look. 13 point gap now to Lando Norris which is exactly what we like to see. It was 24 points coming into this weekend. Oscar Piastri gains a single position as he scores some points today. Or maybe more, I don't know. But he's up to P14. Well, he's quite a ways behind me. But Alfa Romeo as a team, we go P2 right now. Red Bull and Ferrari equal on 75 points. We're one point ahead of them. 65 points away from McLaren. So that is a ways to go. But hopefully we can get some decent positions uh, finishes in the remainder of the season to try and close that gap so that is all for today guys hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like if you guys did subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for your support take care and i'll see you guys in the next episode